What is up, ponies and bronies? Espresso here, and welcome back to Turnabout Storm. Now, I know it's been a little bit, what has it been, like, what, one, two weeks that we watched the last one, huh? <laughs> uh, Actually, it's been a month. Oh. Oh, wait, it has? Yeah, you didn't notice? Uh, no? Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, it has been a month since we last watched the last one about Storm, but due to a lot of complications, uh, you know how it is, guys. The time. Time is the greatest enemy of life, guys. But yeah, um, due to, like, time restraints, I have not been able to actually record it full through, because if I were to record it... It wouldn't actually be done, I'd have to come back later, finish recording, and it would just make it all weird, and there'd be so many weird edits in it, so I want to get it straight shot recorded, and, you know, just have everything done in once, instead of being part, and then part, and then part, so, yeah, um, I mean, um, this is the thing about Turnabout Storm, I really like recording this, and then when I start recording it, I get into it, but it's just like, after the fact of realizing how much time I spent on it, it's just like, dear God, <laughs> it's too much time in one sitting. Because I don't know, I'm pretty sure I have explained it before, but some are, like episodes are like an hour and a half long, so that's an hour and a half watching it. And then it's an hour and a half plus more to edit, depending on how many edits I have to make, and if I have to do anything in between the edits. And then it's the rendering time, which can take to another hour and a half or more, probably two and a half. It depends on the... Um, Sony Vegas, and sometimes it's really nice to me, and sometimes it's just a monster, and then it's YouTube's upload, which takes another probably two hours, so, you know, it's like a good six to seven hours in total, so, yeah, it's a lot of time out of your day to spend on one thing, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a fun thing to record, it's just a time, like, um, I'm trying to record it one day, edit it a different day, and then render it, like, while I'm out on some other day. And it, it somewhat works, but, you know, it's still gonna take a while for it to come out because, you know, I have to edit, and edits sometimes take longer than expected, so, you know. But I'm gonna try to get these out more often since I think there's, like, two or three more parts left. I don't know, I don't remember. Because when I went to go get this one, um, I think I saw like two or three more parts listed. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe there are, maybe there are only uh, one. I don't know. But, um, hopefully we can get to this much faster than we normally do. This is our usual thing. We do like a couple episodes, then we take a month, and then we do a couple more. So hopefully we'll just be able to finish it off in the next few weeks. But anyways, guys, I've been talking long enough, so grab a couple of jokes, sit back and relax, because the show is about to start. Alright, everyone, so if I'm to be correct, this is supposed to be Phoenix's My part. My name is Phoenix, right, and I'm fine! Oh. You are? My name is Phoenix, right, and I'm fine! You, okay? My name is you need to calm down, Phoenix. Phoenix, are you okay? Like, honestly. Oh, hey, Chief. I was just practicing for my very first trial, which is tomorrow. Oh. The guys back at law school said this tape would really help me out. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, when I, I heard thought you were going insane. From the office, I thought someone was murdering you. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't screeching, that was step four. Oh. <laughs> I don't well, think steps you one through three. exercise tape. I'm sure you'll do just fine. The suspect, he's your friend, right? Yeah, he's my friend, but... 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 What? Yeah. He's... well... Yes? A scrub? He's kind of an idiot. Yep, a scrub. <laughs> That's a very nice thing to say about your friend. No, I really mean it. He thinks passing the 8th grade is a credential. He even got the report card framed and everything. So, <laughs> what are you getting at? I mean, what if he really did kill that woman? What do I do? God, do I lie and try to defend them, or do I side with justice and let them be punished? That reminds me, guys. Phoenix. Next gameplay coming up after Infamous might be some Don't Phoenix right. You know, just saying. Tell me, what do you think? Me? What do you mean? Or maybe after my little you, investigation, I don't know. Right, Depends on which one I as first. A defense attorney. Do you think your friend killed that woman? He might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I don't think he has it in him to kill anyone. There you I don't go. Know. Stupid people have a tendency huh? to go do weird things. That. You have to believe in him. It's your job to. 
cast all that doubt aside and pursue that truth. If you do that, nothing can stop you. The truth, huh? Thanks, Chief. I'm still a little nervous, though. Don't worry. We all go through it. Hey, um, do you by any chance know who the prosecutor is? The prosecutor? I believe it's Winston Payne. Winston you know, Payne? The rookie killer. Oh. Well, oh, that's killer? nice. <laughs> sound of that title. Honestly. Not many rookies take the prosecutor into consideration. Why did you want to know something like that? Uh, no reason. I was just curious. You seem more disappointed than curious. Ah, uh, forget about it. I'm just a little out of it right now. I'll never forget what you taught me. But somehow... I highly doubt you're looking down on me smiling after what I did today. Oh. Wait, is that girl dead? Phoenix. I was wrong about you. Twilight, wait, I... Oh yeah, this is after he accused oh, Fluttershy to buy She's time. Right. I did absolutely terrible in there. Now two of her friends are suspects. What do I do now? I don't have any leads at all. Nobody to turn to. I'm all by myself. Which means I can't even get back home. That is very true. <laughs> no, I can't think that way. I've got to stay diligent. I said I'd clear Rainbow Dash's name. And I bought her another day. I can't let it go to waste. But where do I start? At the scene of the crime again. Hey, oh, it's Pinkie Pie! Happy? What's the matter? Huh? Where did she come from? <laughs> he read that part. Oh, God. You must smell the new what? shampoo I'm using. What? Ah, uh, that explains it then. But he didn't say it. W wait, did I just say that or think that? Honestly. Who are you? Oh, <laughs> she breaks the fourth wall. You're so extraordinary. Oh my God. I'm looking for something. What are you looking for, Pinky? What for? Some other pony said there was a spiky-headed monster in here. Oh. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, you're talking to him, Pinky. Have you seen it? <laughs> Does that mean no? Oh, I'm getting so sick of this place. That <laughs> brownie upside down. Oh god! How can I? I did such a lousy job in court today, and Twilight probably hates my guts for what I did. Yeah, hey, you know in a way. Me too. You know Twilight Sparkle? Yeah. Look, we're the bestest of best friends. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to go to court today and cheer for Rainbow Dash. It, Sorry, it, gotta run. It's kind of too late, Pinky. Oh, I'm already here. Yeah. Yay! I hate to break it to you, but you missed the trial. You really did. Out of all the pastel grass chewers I've met, this one is definitely the weirdest. Yeah, <laughs> I better be careful. Exactly. Is Dashie okay? For the time being, yes. The trial is being postponed. I'm actually Rainbow Dash's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Ooh, neato! So, what you doing right now, Feeny? <laughs> that name. Feeny? That's... That's what? <sighs> Never mind. What? Well, I don't know what I should be doing right now, to be honest. What? I have no leads at all. What importance does that name Why have? you go talk to Dashie about the trial? Wait a minute. She had Cyclox. Cyclox? Is that some kind of breakfast cereal? No. Sounds yummy! Is it like <laughs> real locks and not grossly grossly artificial locks? Thanks for the advice, um, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the detention center now. Well, that was something. June 10th, 12 p.m. I really hope she isn't mad at me after what happened. No, 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 Oh, God, no. calm yourself down. R Rainbow Dash? I, I can't bear to live anymore. Throw the book at me. Let them send me to the sun. There's nothing left for me in Equestria. Oh, God. Rainbow Dash, get a hold of yourself. Like, honestly. She must still be upset over those uh, pictures. What were those pictures? For you to say, now the Wonder Bolts will never let me in. Ponyville is going to laugh at me forever. I want to know what those pictures. That, um, bad. Don't lie. I want to know, really? Phoenix. I'm sure everyone will forget by tomorrow. I haven't. I guarantee it. And it's been a month. There's no way anyone <laughs> forget images like those. That's why I need to know what they are. I know so. It seemed I'm to disturb right. everyone. My name is Phoenix, right after all. 
Oh, Badger. Oh, God. Exactly! That Thank wasn't funny. It wasn't yeah. Phoenix. Wasn't that funny. was stale. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, though. I appreciate it. You're welcome. By the way... Yes? What is it? What was that terrible performance in the court Terabad. I could have done a better job defending myself. Are you sure about that? I... I... Every defense attorney must suck horse apples if you're supposed to be the best one. Oh, damn. Look, I know I screwed up, but I'm gonna make it up to you and Fluttershy tomorrow. Fluttershy? <laughs> she got what she deserved after she betrayed me like that. Oh, wow. Hey, it tore me up having Damn. Kidnapped. It was the only way oh, I could fuck save you. Fuck you, Rainbow. God Fluttershy damn. Did betray you. She honestly didn't. Give me a break. This is the thanks I get for all the times I stuck up for her sorry flank. Wow. She was just telling the truth. Like honestly. True. You proved she was lying though. She didn't see Apple Blue. She but she did see you leave the forest. You were there, weren't you? Whatever. We are ex friends as of now. Gotta be I so shady. Me, even if you did do a crummy job. Gee, thanks. She pretty much said, Yup, Rainbow oh, Dash God. did it. What kind of a friend does that? Rainbow Dash, for the last time, she was telling the truth, what she saw. Actually, that brings me to why I'm here. What? Why are you here? The truth. I want to know what you were really doing near the Ever Free Forest the night of the murder. Take that! Well, here comes the Cyclox. <laughs> Got three. Ugh, I told you already. I was practicing for the race. Rainbow, stop lying. <sighs> It still works after that incident this morning. Yeah, that... Whatever happened, now Twilight has the power. What the... What was that all about, anyway? Yeah, Rainbow, you're not on my favorite Forget list right that. now. That, that was a horrible that thing to say. Okay, there they are. I mean, I know your Time situation, but damn. Sorry, but I don't believe you, my little pony. Wow. Not for a single solitary second. You're my lawyer and you don't believe me? That's reassuring. Let's play a game, Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna guess what you were really doing near the crime scene that night, and you're gonna tell me if I'm right. You can go right ahead and do that, but I'm sticking to my story. I don't think you were practicing at all. I think you were doing something far more important. L like what? Like, oh, I don't know. Meeting, meeting someone. someone. <laughs> uh, 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 I mean... Who you already stuttered. In the middle of the forest at that hour. No pony ever goes in there willingly. Then why were you practicing there if no one ever goes in there willingly? Exactly. Just screwed yourself over. Uh, well... I know there was someone in the forest the night of the murder. Put your money where your mouth is. Who do you think I was meeting? Take that! A Swift. The fact your feathers were found all around the clearing proves you were there that night. Yeah. And who else was in the clearing that night? The victim, of course. You needed to be there to see him. You also just told me ponies avoid going in there. So I'm willing to bet he wanted to meet with you in private. And what better place to pick than the middle of a forest nobody ever goes into? Yeah. Ah! No! Uh, I mean... Ah, uh, no! You're wrong! He, he was just competition! Why would I want to meet him? I have better things I could be doing. You've already been like caught, what? son. I don't know. Napping? Something like that. Oh, please. Maybe he had something you wanted. What do you mean? I'm saying Those maybe photos. he had something important to you. Something you'd move heaven and earth for. Those photos. I'm a pretty self-satisfied pony. <laughs> I've got everything I need. Well, besides fortune and glory, and I don't think he could give those to me. What could he possibly have that I'd want? Them photos. I'm glad you asked that, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> you are? There's one thing that you absolutely needed that I know he had. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Pretty sure you do. The reason you went to go meet him is... Take that! These! <laughs> you still have them, Put though. Those away <laughs> I want to see them. <laughs> Your anxiety shows you absolutely didn't want these pictures floating out and about. 
Yes, 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 you're right. I was meeting him about these. Can you please just put them away now? Why don't you just tell her if you don't tell me? I mean, this it's a it's a dick question. move, but be like, if you don't just, like tell me what happened, no, I'm gonna go show everybody it. again. What a bummer. <laughs> Guess we'll never know. I actually think I know why. You do? Yes. I can think of one reason why he'd want to meet you over pictures like these. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah. Blackmail. I'm willing to bet my attorney badge he wanted you to toss the Equestrian 500. Yeah. I was told of Pony suspecting him of foul play in the wake of all his success. He was probably threatening you to let him win the race. Yep. Wow. Hmm? You're really good. You did it, Phoenix. Hooray! It's true. Ace was trying to force me to drop out of the Equestrian 500. How did it start? I got home two days ago and saw this letter on my doorstep. Letter blackmailing Rainbow Dash that she found on her doorstep. I'll let your secret out if you don't drop out of the Equestrian 500. Meet in the Everfree Forest Clearing, 8.35 tonight for negotiations. At first I didn't know what secret it was talking about, but attached to the message was one of those pictures. About those pictures. What are they? Why are you? It's a hobby, all right. I bet you have skeletons in your closet too, Mister Twenty Something who plays with toys. Okay, okay. I won't ask about them anymore. I want to ask about them. You got, got nothing on me. <laughs> my best guess is that the jerk was stalking me, trying to get dirt on me. Rainbow Dash. Yes. What is it? I want you to know that I trust you, and I'm going to need you to trust me when I ask you these next series of questions. Huh? I know you may be scared this will make you look guilty, but I know you're innocent. Uh, I'm not scared. Lies. Why did you move that cloud to the crime scene and set it off? Uh, but, but, I, I, Come I on, didn't. Rainbow Dash, Rainbow you Dash, don't have time for this. Me. I won't think any differently of you in light of what you tell me. I know you didn't kill him. Okay, I'll tell you. I did move the cloud there, and I did set it off. I just wanted to give him a scare, that's all. A scare? So you really did move the cloud over the forest clearing? As soon as I saw the requirements of the blackmail letter, I knew it was Ace and that all those rumors about him were true. He's a blackmailing cheater. So I set up the cloud over the clearing earlier that day with the intent of declining his little offer. So you weren't going to drop out in spite of him leaking the pictures? No way! I'm not going to let some loser have his way with me even if it meant those pictures getting out. Oh. I have too much pride for that. I find that really admirable. <laughs> Thanks. This is also my first year competing in the race. I just reached the required age to participate. I've been way too anxious to just drop out. RBD spells victory! You sure okay. you can take 500 miles? <laughs> it's longer than it sounds, you know. There's some checkpoints along the track set up so the racers can have some R&R, &R, but that's a little problem I keep having. There's no doubt I'm fast, but I tire out along the way. I'm not used to flying that long. In races like these, you should pace yourself accordingly. Yeah. Don't go fast right from the start. Save all your energy for the home stretch. Exactly. Kind of like how I don't present all my evidence right from the start. I'll try to keep that in mind. But let's get back on topic, shall we? I'm supposed to be your lawyer, not your coach. Right. Anyway, I wasn't planning on killing him. Just give him a bit of a startle. You know, just kicking some dirt in his face for messing with me. The cloud shoots a lightning bolt directly under it when activated. I mess around with ponies by scaring them with clouds all the time, but I got an extra big one in his case to make the sound as loud as possible. I guess it was a little dangerous getting one that big. So it didn't hit him when you set it off? No, I made sure it wasn't over him. Even though it was really dark outside, like you said in the court today, I could see that the bolt didn't even come close to touching him. When the lightning bolt lit up the area, it made him scream like a little girl and left a really sissy look on his mug. <laughs> it was priceless! Then I just hightailed it out of there as fast as I could. That's probably when Fluttershy saw her. Exactly. Why didn't you tell anyone about this blackmail earlier? I didn't want any pony to know about the blackmail because, you know, they would wonder what he was blackmailing me with. Well, it's too late. They already know now. Then those pictures would get out. You believe me, right? He was absolutely fine when I left, I swear! Yes, I believe you. Though, more questions arise from this. More questions? How did he end up dead directly under the cloud? I was trying desperately to convince the court it was the second bolt that killed him. That would make this all an accident, 
since you have no control over it. But then we have that lightning doesn't strike the same place twice thing that Trixie was talking about. That's true. It's a new type of storm cloud the Pegasi are using to protect ponies from situations like this. Since it can't hit in the same place twice, they can just stand under a cloud after the first bolt. So the safest place is under the cloud. Well, you know that one wasn't defective. It's really something. The weather just works by itself where I live. Exactly. I kind of wish it worked that way here. I'd have a lot more free time on my hoof so I could perfect my sonic rainbow or my fantastic Philly Flash. Are those dance moves or something? <laughs> From what I hear, you're also the weather manager. I need some information regarding how the lightning here in Equestria works. What do you need to know? Well, is it true the bolt causes the noise? Yeah, it is. I don't know how it works exactly, but I'm pretty sure when it touches the ground or anything attached to the ground, like, say, a tree, it sends out vibrations which makes the boom. I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure lightning doesn't work like that. I'm pretty sure too. Then again. I keep forgetting I'm in a land full of magical talking ponies who can manually change weather. Yes, yes you are. Is there anything are. that could prevent it from <laughs> making a sound? I suppose if it hit something small in the air that was close enough to the cloud, yeah, it wouldn't make a sound, and I know what you're thinking, but that couldn't happen. Why not? That itchy racing suit. Oh, right. I remember that being brought up. That's that lightning-proof suit that you Pegasuses wear for the race, right? Pegasi. The plural is Pegasus. Ooh, I called I it! I subconsciously called it. <laughs> Weren't there some exposed parts on it, though? Yes, there are. But while you're in the flying position, those parts are covered up. They're only exposed when you're on all fours and grounded. This is sounding more and more hopeless for me the more I talk about it. Try to cheer up. I'll find out what really happened and get you out of here. Thank you, Nix. Okay, Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna go do some more investigating in light of this new information. Alright, catch you later. Oh, wait, one more thing. Yes? Pinkie Pie. I bumped into her after the trial. I'm guessing she's a friend of yours. She wanted to cheer you on in court today, but sadly, it seems she was late. Yep. Uh, is she always that... Uh... Loopy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Pinkie Pie being Pinkie Pie. Okay. Just thought I'd let you know. Well, goodbye, Rainbow Dash. Wait! Jeez, I just can't leave this place. <laughs> yes? What is it? Here, take this. What is that? A key? Is what that is a key? For? I mean, it kind of looks like one. Ace's hotel room. What? How did you get this? Honestly! I was angry when I thought he was stalking me, so I snuck into his hotel room to find dirt on him. It was under the mat. What a stupid place to leave your key, huh? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Stupid place. You do that, don't you? Note to self. Put key to office in different hiding spot. Exactly. That's like the first place someone will look for a, like, hidden key. I wasn't able to find anything good in there, but maybe you can. Where's the hotel? He was staying in the Hay and Stay Hotel while he was in Ponyville. It's a little past Sugar Cube Corner. So it looks like Just he's gonna run into Pinkie Pie again. Oh, no, she's not gonna do that. Twilight. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, oh, nothing. Thanks, Rainbow Dash. This will really help my investigation. Goodbye, Nix. I promise I'll get you and Fluttershy out of this mess. <laughs> Fluttershy. I told you, I don't care about Don't be shady to Fluttershy! <laughs> God damn it! I know you'll find some super awesome evidence this time around! You know her better than anyone. You know she's gonna crack under all that pressure. <laughs> like, damn. Okay, where should I go first? Back to the forest, or to the hotel room? That is up to you, Phoenix. Oh, it's Pinky. It would be a lot easier to go to the forest, since I know the general direction, and I might find some new clues with the sun out. Hello? Pinky's calling you, Phoenix. And then again, <laughs> I already found a lot of evidence in the forest already. Are you talking to yourself this time? Though, would going in his hotel room be considered breaking and entering? I don't know. Well, I'll have a bit of trouble I mean, finding he's someone dead. guiding me anyway. Uh, uh, oh, you God. <laughs> oh, you're Pinkie Pie. Yep, yep. Me. that's my name. What are you doing here? I followed you. The guards won't let me in, though, so I just talked with them while I waited for you. Right, boys? Oh, for the love of all things holy, <laughs> please take her away. <laughs> Uh, why were you following me? Oh, God. <laughs> Look, 
the spiky-headed oh, monster they were goodness. talking about is... Oh, I gave up trying to find that a long time ago. It's probably just some pony's overactive imagination. No, they were talking I about him. <laughs> what did you lose? The golf club? So, you want me to help you find something, but you won't tell me what it is? Yeah, that, how's that work, no. Pinky? That makes no sense! It does, and I'm sorry! <laughs> Actually, uh, Pinkie Pie... Do you know where Sugar Cube Corner is? Yeah. Ooh, you want to go bake cupcakes with me at Sugar Cube Corner? Mr. and Mrs. Cake always let me help out. Now I have an assistant. Yay! You know how to make cupcakes, right? It's okay if you can't. I can teach you if you don't know. It's really, really, really easy. First you beat down to 350 degrees and line the cupcake pan with silver liners and you toss flowers. Chill. 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 We want to salvage as many as we can from the mix. I think I just That's died. Just died. <laughs> That's too much information at once. It's a hotel. I heard it was by there. Of course I know how to make cupcakes. What do you think I am, a hobo? I don't know how to make cupcakes, and I'm not a hobo. Like to escort me. Would you be willing to do that for me? Help you find your missing thing. Is making cupcakes like a requirement? Name it. This is gonna be easier than I thought. You have to tell me a funny joke! Oh, okay. Uh, what? Why do I have to do that? Phoenix is throwing some stale ones out earlier, so you that. know. Show me you have a sense of humor, Feeny Meeny. Do I really have to do this? Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, she seems really easy to impress anyway. Okay, this is a really good one, Pinkie Pie. Tell me, tell me! Uh, Here goes. Why do they call Oh my it? god, you're right. doing that same damn joke! <laughs> because I'm always right! This mother... <laughs> funny. <laughs> Even Pinkie Pie! <laughs> Even Pinkie Pie said well, it! Uh, <laughs> oh one time I cross-examined the parakeet. What's the deal with that? This is a lot harder than I thought. <laughs> Even Pinkie Pie said you <laughs> Um, did you know I oh had the God. entire left side of my body cut off once? Don't worry, I'm all right now. <laughs> this dude in his jokes. Uh, oh, hey, what's that? This? What? It's my Equestria attorney badge. And that's how I got in that detention center. <laughs> oh, what? wow, that is the girliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> She played your existence. sobbing to myself in a dark corner right now. I would too. Well, she played your you whole entire existence. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, Pinky? Oh, oh, right. The hotel is this way. Hey, wait up. Well, it looks like I did a good job designing Zen. <laughs> At least he doesn't tell corny ass jokes like Phoenix. <laughs> Dear God. I think sticking to pranks is a whole lot better. What? It does? Looky, here's that room. What song was it? Do you think we'll get in trouble for going in this room without asking? Don't be such a chicken, Feeny. Give me that key. Oh, wow. Hey! We can't just... We just stick it in here, and... We're in! Pinkie Pie, Master of Unlocking! <laughs> I really hope I don't get sent to the sun for this. Maybe. <laughs> this is Ace's room. Seeing as he's dead, surely he won't mind if we look around. I mean, technically it's not his room if he's dead. Surely. What are we trying to find here anyway, Feeny? A magical stone? A secret chamber? A prisoner? A cup? Maybe something you ordered? Oatmeal? Oatmeal? Why would anybody want to find oatmeal? Duh! When they're hungry! <sighs> well, as you heard, guys, a no, cup. Okay, Espresso guys. confirmed for hidden induendo in Turnabout Storm. Spread the news. So, no oatmeal? I'm just kidding. No oatmeal. <laughs> I want to try and be out of here as fast as humanly possible, okay? I don't want to be caught by anyone. I mean, no one I technically owns that room as anymore. As possible, then. Oh. <sighs> Maybe it was a mistake taking her in here with me. 
I don't know, probably. A a step ladder. Is that a clue? One. No. no. That's not a clue. <laughs> that's not a step ladder. It's a ladder. There's a difference? Yeah. There's a big difference. Yeah. A step ladder has an A-frame that folds, while a ladder is flat like that one. I still don't see what the difference is. I mean, you still step on it, right? Yeah. Can it be a step ladder then? It's, it's kind of true. How can I in put this in a way you'll understand? It's like cupcakes and muffins. Cupcakes and muffins? Exactly. Both look kind of the same, but they're totally different. Like ladders and step ladders. Cupcakes have frosting on them, like how step ladders have a folding frame, while muffins are usually plain, like the ladder's flat. Oh, I think I get it now. Like hacksaws and saws? Where'd they go to hacksaw anyway? Why do they? Oh! I just yeah. caught that! Okay. Oh no! Oh, none of that! Oh no! I just caught that one! Oh! I find it annoying that a lot of people don't know the difference between the two. Wait a minute. Wasn't the victim a Pegasus? Why would he need a ladder anyway? He could just fly of that. the things he would need a ladder for. Maybe he was superstitious and didn't want bad luck. Keeping a ladder doesn't prevent bad luck. You get bad luck for walking under a ladder. What about this? Is ripped up paper good luck? It's a piece of Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was a little bit startled by that. <laughs> Guess you're right. It just has a bunch of mumbo jumbo on it anyway. Mumbo jumbo? Well, let me see it. This is a letter stating. Oh, yeah, for those probably wondering why, that was a line in Cupcakes. And then it cuts off. The rest must be on the other half. Pinky, you found a clue! Hooray! Is that good luck? No. Uh, well, well, What? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> good job, Pinky. <laughs> Yay! I'm about to say, how's that not good? Well, I mean, not good luck, but it's it's a it's it good thing. It only that Ace wrote this, since it's his room. But who was he writing it to? What's Maybe. his name? Oh, no! Crash. <laughs> Control or whatever You're his name was. To be in here, remember? What's the problem? My tail's twitching. Something so about the fall. My foot fell asleep. You don't see me freaking out. Why is she hiding under that table? Something about the fall. Pie, stop fooling around and. Ow! What the hell fell? See? I warned you. What? You didn't say anything was gonna fall on my head. <laughs> I did. I said my tail was twitching. That means something's gonna fall. That's ridiculous! <laughs> you can make predictions like that based off body spasms. She really can. So what's a book say? <laughs> the thing that fell on my head? It seems like it's some sort of advanced spell book. Hey, Feeny, do you think that you can cast a spell? No. I can't since I'm an earth <laughs> I don't of think you can. Of course not. I'm not a magician. I can't even read it anyway. I only know it's an advanced spell book because I saw Twilight reading a book just like it this morning. And I asked her what it was. The text isn't in English. The characters are in weird hieroglyphics like Twilight's book. Oh. Huh? Look at this. Continue from here. Third line. Seems someone scribbled a note here. You can get in big trouble for writing in a hotel's book like that. <laughs> no, I don't think this is the hotel's book. Twilight said these advanced spell books are only available in K... Canterlot. Can... Yeah, I forget the name. Starts with a hard C if I recall. Cookie? Cookie? No. <laughs> Carrot? No. Corkscrew? Corkscrew. No, just stop guessing. The point is, this must be someone's personal book. I'd better put it back on the shelf. It was all the way up there. I can reach it. Almost got it. What did you rip? No! Didn't you just tell me to be quiet a second ago? Practice what you preach. I ripped my suit! <laughs> hey, you have a big hole in your armpit! Uh, so now you do look like a hobo. So it's a ladder! <sighs> you don't realize how bad this is! I actually don't. can't walk don't. around with a big rip in my suit! Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. He's crying over spilt milk. Or ripped armpits. <laughs> <sighs> Looky, it's Rainbow Dash! Huh? Where? Right here on the table! Well, it's her name alright. What is this? It looks like some kind of list. Maybe it's his hit list. Invite. 
Because isn't 835 said when he's people? gonna meet Rainbow Dash? Nope. Doesn't ring any bells. Rainbow Dash is the only name on here I recognize. Uh oh! Oh yeah, Cruise Control, that's what his are. name was. Why? I throw a party for every new pony in Ponyville. <gasps> that reminds me! I haven't thrown a welcome party for you yet! She's not a new I'm pony sorry, though. Baby. I just haven't had the time today. Uh, that's alright. She seems so upset about it. She loves Look parties. Next to Rainbow Dash's <laughs> name. It's a time. 8.35. Isn't that when he said he was going to meet her? I was right! It's a party invite! No, Rainbow no, it's Dash not. party at 8.35. I'll try not to be late this time. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I know what this is now. Tis hit list. Lists including with several no. names and Tell hope. me! Tell me! I'm not completely positive. But I think this is a- And just who are you two? Oh, whoa, whoa. No, we're caught! Why are you snooping around my room? What?! <gasps> Chief! Chief? I should have the police book you two and have you thrown in jail for breaking and entering. Hold on, what? I, this can't I'm be very me. confused. This can't be! Yeah, Are it's set. Do you honestly think she's gonna fall for that? Do you honestly think I'm going to fall for- Wait a minute. I know who you are. It's me, Mia. Mia? My name is Sonata. What? Sonata? Did I Whoa. stutter? Yes, that's my name. It's not okay. Her, but the resemblance, it's uncanny. Name, now. Phoenix Wright. Wasn't it's Sonata a person in Rainbow Rocks? As I thought, you were that human lawyer from the trial earlier. I can't get over this. It looks exactly like her. If she were a pony. Yeah. Can you stop staring at me like that, please? What's the matter, Feeny? Cat got your tongue. I don't remember if they said it already, but did Mia die or something? Your tongue is really sensitive. Ouch! I knew Rainbow Dash was guilty, but it didn't even look like you were trying in court today. Who exactly are you? I'm the one who should be asking questions here. Seeing as you two are the ones who broke into my room, I'm betting you're the one who stole the key two days ago. But isn't this Ace Swift's room? You're here about him? Yeah. I see. We were just investigating his hotel room for clues. This is his room, is it not? Hmm? Oh, yes. That is correct. You just said this was your room, though. What are you, his girlfriend or something? <laughs> strike one, Mr. Wright. I suggest you not strike out anymore. <laughs> let's make him. No, let's do that. <laughs> Actually, I'm, or should I say, was his manager oh. in the circumstances. His manager? Who is that? This is getting weird. I'm sorry about what happened. Sorry, I don't know all the don't Phoenix Wright references. Me. We'll probably play that sometime in the future. Your client will be punished for her. She didn't do hey, anything. Hey, Rainbow Dash didn't I do it. Suppose. Any pony with half a brain can see that she did it, Mr. Wright. Look at all the evidence stacked against her. No matter how you look at it, she was the one who activated that cloud and killed him. Your little feather theory may have bought some time, but she is going to be found guilty tomorrow morning. I assure it. Nah, son. I believe in her, and I'm going to defend her to the very end, no matter what you say. <laughs> And that's why you're going to lose. From what I've gathered, you're not even from Equestria. Why place loyalty in a pony you hardly know? Why not? Did I stutter? I said because I believe her. Ooh. She didn't do it. Get Rex, son! Just like that. <laughs> do you mean Trixie? <laughs> yes, her. But what do you have against her? I wish to prosecute for this case, but that pig-headed showmare beat me to it. <laughs> does seem a lot more qualified to be a prosecutor than Trixie. She does. Trixie was being so a complete wait, scrub. You're a prosecutor Trixie, you were one of my favorites. Why you gotta be so scrubby in this? Canterlot, Equestria's capital. Most of the unicorns there are jacks of all trades, so to speak. We take on as many jobs as we can to flourish our intellect and magical abilities. Wow! I didn't even know that! I should take another trade! Maybe bowling? No, creative writing! No, no! How about scuba diving? Okay. 
<laughs> exactly. It doesn't look like she shares your enthusiasm. Yeah. Trixie's from this. She took straight forward. Yes, she is. I was in Ponyville when the murder took place, so there wasn't enough time for me to go to Canterlot and execute the procedures to prosecute this case. Trixie must have already been there when she heard about it. How foolish. Taking a case over a silly little grudge. Yeah. It's funny, really. Part of me wants you to best her. Who has the grudge now? <laughs> I actually know quite a bit about her. Care to listen? Sure. Ooh, a story! I love stories! I I'll do tell too. You about it. I mean, some kind of blue soup up in somebody's room and rummage through their personal belongings! You mean the moment right now? <laughs> <laughs> God, shut up! <laughs> oh dear yeah, God! <laughs> Phoenix, I calm your eyes down. <laughs> I was classmates with her when I was but a fool. I attended oh, the same were. bunch of classes as her. Were you friends with her or something? No. I kept to myself as I do now. Oh. I only consult with those who are worth my time. Oh. Hey, you know what that means, Phoenix? We're both worth our time! You're at the yeah. like us breaking into our room. Every time you speak, you make that glare icier and icier. <laughs> she you saw in court today is how she has been all her life. She's like a bitchy version of Rave. <laughs> I mean, he consults with people who are just all right, not ridiculous. As much as I hate to say it, she's better than me, despite me being older. Well, when it comes to magic, anyway. Ah, uh, so you're just jealous then! Damn! Frankie, is your brain the size of chewed bubblegum? <laughs> I don't God. think so. If it were bubblegum, it would probably stick to the inside of my head, don't you think? <sighs> Frankie, just stop talking, please! <laughs> okay, I'll stop talking. Oh my god. Uh, sorry, I spoke. Uh, I spoke She's gonna. Again. Yep! Again. I knew again. it! <laughs> <laughs> What? Huh? Are you, uh, yeah, I'm about okay. to say, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like you're about to have a brain aneurysm. I'm not jealous. In fact, unlike Trixie, I'm striving to become better with magic, not going around town and showing off a bunch of cheap parlor tricks. You should earn attention and praise for the actions you do, not what you claim you can do. Yeah, exactly. So just because she showed off in school, you hate her? Sorry, but that's a little shallow, if you ask me. Well, I mean, Phoenix. Do you think she's qualified to be prosecuting? You saw how she acted. Exactly. No professionalism at all. She could at least act normal while I she's doing it. I've had it worse in the courtroom. Two pays, birds, whips. Two pays, whips. Uh, don't ask. Whips. As long okay. As job done. I don't see anything wrong with it. I do. Well, why do you want to prosecute this case so badly anyway? I, I know you were his manager, but still. Because if things were going my way, the case would have been closed by now. Ooh. Cold, hard, swift justice. That's the way I work. That's not what being a lawyer is about, Sonata. Then what is it about, Mr. Wright? Sitting back and letting a dangerous felon off the hook, scot-free? No. It's about finding the truth. I was thinking the that. Truth. I'm smart. <laughs> Justice. We're to work to the best of our abilities to guide it and seek out the truth. You have quite the ideals, Mr. Wright. I don't know what kinds of trials and tribulations you've been through, but you're not changing my opinion. Well, from the sound Rainbow of it, he's Dash been through some weird guilty, shit. And that's all there is to it. I mean, maybe you not. Don't mind me asking. What does that eyeball stand for? Yeah. It's a cutie mark. It must mean your special talent is poking Pony's eyes out with that horn. Uh! <laughs> we are so dead. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with her? Every time Pinky uh, talks, it's like he's okay? taking IQ points me? off of her. Yes, I'm fine. But no. My talent is perceiving and having a keen eye for detail. For instance, Mr. Wright, you're desperately trying to change the subject, hoping I forget about you breaking into my room, indicated by your nervous breathing patterns and the sweat trickling down your forehead and neck. Oh. You're also trying to cover up that embarrassing rip in your armpit. I can tell by how firmly your left arm is pressed against your body compared to your right one. <laughs> <laughs> Just and played her, your life. She's... You can't read, Pinky. She's thinking about ladders. Oh. Wow, how did you know? <laughs> you must be I guess you can. It's a ladder. Even I could have gotten that one. 
Throughout the whole conversation, you keep looking at it. <laughs> but, Sonata, can you tell me a little bit more about Ace? What's there to say? He was good at what he did. Good at what he did? Yeah, sure. That creep was blackmailing Rainbow Dash. What about your relationship with him? As his manager, I mean. Well? Th that's none of your business. Are we gonna get some Cyclops? For a second there, she kind of hesitated. Perhaps I should press this further. Yeah. I want to know, Sonata, what was it like being a Swiss manager? Ooh, I got it! <laughs> you got four! <laughs> I told you, Mr. Wright, it's none of your business. He's probably blackmailing her, too. Who was his name, oh, wow. I knew there was more to you than meets the eye. Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to attend to. I would appreciate it if you left my room post-haste. That's odd. Didn't you say she was gonna have us arrested for breaking and entering? Yeah, but you caught right, her on her lie. Cool, thank you, bye. Yep, yep. I wish you the best of luck on your investigation. You'll need it. Man, he don't need luck. He's Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Cause he's always right, guys. <laughs> I was sweating bullets back there. She's quite intimidating for a pony. Honestly. I didn't find her intimidating. I tried to make her smile. How do you think I did? Not uh, so well. Don't quit your day job. I think you hit her okay. head. I'm not hit, but hurt her head. Anyway, throwing parties is more of a hobby. Pinky, you still haven't told me. But working How at Sugar Cube Corner was your job. Trial. I slept in. Wow. Wow. That's it. Exactly. Is something wrong? No, I guess I was just expecting a better reason than that. I have a bad habit of being late. That's why I don't plan parties too far in advance. I'll just be late and miss all the fun. So I just throw them whenever I want. Oh. That says a lot about you. Yeah. I thought you were a bit annoying at first. But I can see now that you're just, uh... Random. A free spirit. <laughs> Random. Your heart's in the place, though. <laughs> you remind me a lot of a girl I know. Aw, thanks, Feeny. So <laughs> what do you think happened, Pinkie Pie? Hmm? The crime, I mean. What do you think really happened? Let me think. Oh, 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 I know! Are you gonna come up with something really obscure? Maybe, just maybe. Rainbow Dash. Yes? Maybe she has an evil twin sister nobody knows about. Yeah, so there are two Rainbow Dashes. One good, one evil. Double Rainbow Dash? Double Rainbow! rainbow. So oh, she said it! Oh, oh, no. oh my god. All the colors, they'd stick out. An evil twin sister that nobody is knows something. about doesn't seem plausible. No, Feeny, I think I'm onto something here. We have to find that bad rainbow before she strikes again. Yeah, I Let's knew she was going to come up with something. What? What? But that's just... Ugh, why am I even arguing about it? Yeah, that? I was gonna say, like, there's hey, no point. Huh? Hey, you Derpy! Ursh Bright Eyes! Or... <laughs> uh, oh my uh, god, Phoenix, uh, don't even do it! <laughs> what? Don't, don't, have don't do it. an optometrist about that? Optometrist? Oh, Phoenix. Hey. Uh oh, Phoenix. Uh, I mean, Phoenix. I, I mean, <laughs> you can't say uh, that stuff. It's, that's not cool. Me no see letter? Great. What's the matter? Some airhead gave an important letter to the wrong pony and I'm trying to track it down. I Derpy, I think that was you. <laughs> you around her? Maybe she can see through the very fabric of time and space. Oh my god! I know you! <laughs> Guess my reputation precedes me. Phoenix Wright. Best attorney in the- You're that big loser lawyer from Rainbow Dash's trial! God damn, even <laughs> Derby play in your life! I wish I could've seen you in action. <laughs> I think the word you're looking for is infamous. Hey, we're playing that! <laughs> oh, how I laughed and laughed! Except I wasn't laughing. Yeah, Look, cause you didn't know that. I was that. just underprepared. And in case you haven't noticed by me not being a pony, I'm not from around here. Who are you anyway? The name's Derpy Hood. Okay, so she's Derpy right now. That's kind of a cruel name. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Uh, Pinkie uh, Pie knows. Will you? What's wrong, Pinkie? Don't say her name. Why not? She's really, 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 really sensitive about it. Don't say her name, whatever you do. I think it's kind of a harsh name, but she seems okay with it. Yeah, just don't, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> we had problems with this last time. No, 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 no. Just trust me on this Exactly. Point. If there's ever a time you decide to listen to her, just just okay. do it now. <laughs> well, dirt I I mean Dur <laughs> Blonde Main Pony. What did you think of the trial? Blonde Main Pony? Didn't I tell you my name? 
Did you? Yes. I. I don't. I. Uh. I like your maid. Really? I did it up all nice this morning. Yeah, it really looks good. Hey, I'd say something about your hair, but it really just looks like you stood in front of a fan for a long time. <laughs> That's a this first. Get for trying to be nice. Yeah. I'd yeah. like to hear about what you thought of the trial, since apparently you were there. Oh, I was there, all right. It was. Oh, hey, I know. I'll tell you in poem. Oh. I've been told I'm a really good poet when reciting mail carrier code. Oh. What? <clears throat> oh. The defense really seemed out of luck. If you want my opinion. You really did suck. Oh, damn. Your beard was indecisive and fickle. Fluttershy seemed like she is in quite the pickle. Oh. Little Apple Bloom heard that first bolt touch the ground. But why didn't the second one make a sound? The prosecution's put downs were quite rich. But honestly, she was being a big stuck up bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> I had to. I just had to. I better be off now. Oh my god. If I don't find that letter. Oh my god. Ah, by the way, I should warn you two. There is a nasty unicorn calling ponies terrible names out and about. Oh my god. Toilet. You done fucked up. I wonder why Sonata didn't have us arrested, though. Maybe she likes you. I highly doubt that. But yeah, I'm sorry, guys. But I had I had to do it. <laughs> it just had to be said because I know they wouldn't do it. So cool. I wish I could shoot daggers from my eyes. It's a metaphor, Pinky. But it sort of does look that way. Just look at my suit. You're still upset about that? Of course I am. This is the only one I have on me. What a rarity. I can't walk into court with a ripped suit. I'll look so unprofessional. You really will. You can just go naked like me. No, no! Are you crazy? No, you I'm can't! Show up in court naked? You can't. Why not? <laughs> Everybody else does it. Because uh, he's a different it's... type of naked. Oh, wait. <laughs> I know what the fix that for you in a jiffy. Well, it's better than going in my birthday suit. And the fact that they kind of use that term is a little crazy. <laughs> make a detour to get this repaired. I feel awkward with this hole in my armpit. Carousel Boutique is over yonder, Feeny. Vroom vroom! Hey, stop running ahead of me like that! He doesn't have fur to cover up those parts, Pinky. <laughs> wow, this place is really posh. Probably reflects the owner's personality. There's Rarity. Oh, visitors. Whoa, a marshmallow pony! <laughs> I love how that's the first reaction he got. <laughs> a marshmallow <laughs> pony. What's the matter? Oh, good. That's hair. Oh. Go ahead. Make, Just fun, make of fun of it. Make fun of it. I've actually gotten used to it. What's it gonna be? Why is there a hedgehog sleeping on your head? <laughs> Sonic that <was> classic. <laughs> make fun of it. Whatever do you mean? Oh. I think it's fabulous. Oh, Rarity loves your hair. Like I was it? not expecting that. I love it. Oh. Daring. <laughs> What's the phrase I'm looking for? Take that. Epic. Take, Take that. that. Oh yes, yeah. Take that. You must tell me who does your hair. I'd like to use the style on some of my customers. If I had long I hair, I'd do that. Myself in the mirror. Then you have a natural talent for this. <laughs> Thanks. You're making me flush. Oh, and that mm -hmm. marvelous royal blue suit of yours! I'm most partial to purple myself, but after setting my eyes on such a sophisticated, elegant suit like this, I might change my mind! Oh. It has so much character in it! It boldly proclaims to the world! Uh, uh, help me out here. W what's the way to say it? Hold it. Hold it. Why, yes, that's it! Hold it! <laughs> <laughs> What? What's wrong? There's a giant hole in your suit! Yes, you yes there is. That's what we came here for, Rarity. This will not do. This will simply not do at all. We can't have you walking around with this gaping hole in your suit. It's an indignified spit in the face of fashion. Really? I don't like the hole much either, but it isn't that big. 
Uh, is it really, or is it? I don't know. Right now, I must fix up your suit. And since you're such a sharp dresser and a fantastic stylist, I'll do it free of charge. Oh. Okay, if you're offering. Now, Mr. Feeney, let us talk. Well, he doesn't have money. know more about you. I do enjoy some friendly discourse while I'm working. But you're sewing. Don't you need to concentrate? Stitching is second nature to me, and this is such a simple job. Multitasking is my middle name, after all. Really? I have a son with Tabitha. <laughs> okay, then. And please don't call me Feeney. One <laughs> pony calling me that is more than enough. What shall I call you, then? My name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Oh, I see. So you must be that human attorney Twilight had hired. Yeah, that's me. You have been quite the talk of the town since this morning. I have? Very much so. News around Ponyville travels exceptionally fast, being so small and such. Yeah. I that Twilight had brought you here from a whole other world. Yes, that yeah, is true. that's true. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Rarity, or Miss Rarity, if you prefer. Nice to meet you, Rarity. I have to say, out of all Twilight's friends I've been introduced to, you seem the most mature. She is, Don't in say. a way. Well, I must. Except when she overreacts. While many of my friends may act barbaric and immature, no offense, Pinkie Pie. Rarity, <laughs> Rarity, on the other hand, conducts herself like a proper lady. But back on the subject of this other world you're from, could you do me a favor, Mr. Wright? What would that be? Are there ponies where you come from? No. Yeah. Well, yeah. Excellent. In a way. Before you go back to your world, I mean, I want to give you some of my concepts. Your concepts? Uh, exactly. Yes, what? Yes, you see. I am a designer and an entrepreneur of sorts. I would like you to give my work to some of the ponies you know and ask for their opinions on them. I don't this think they really can give help opinions. Expand my business. Please do tell them to be honest, though. I really need some constructive criticism. I'll have a little trouble doing that. They don't talk. They don't talk? My word. What a strange world you come from, Mr. Wright. Exactly. You ponies. None of them can fly or use magic. No. They don't do that either. <laughs> they just sort of sit in petting zoos and perplex. Yeah. And they kind of smell. My, my, my. Perhaps they just need a highly cultured pony from Equestria, such as myself, to teach them some proper etiquette. I don't think you can, Or a really. rockin' party to liven them up. Yeah, uh, I, sure. I don't think you can, Pinkie. So, <laughs> we're friends with Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie here. The ponies in our world are just poop. Dash. Why, yes. Yes, I am, Mr. Wright. And you're aware of what's happening to her right now? Yes, I am. Don't worry, Rarity. Feeny and I are hot on the trail of Wabniar. Wabniar? Oh, God. Yeah, it's Rainbow Dash's evil twin sister that no pony knows about. Rainbow <laughs> Dash has a twin sister? I didn't know that. No, she doesn't. Of course you didn't. Did you catch the no pony knows about part? <laughs> you're a pony, and you don't know. See? Yeah. Pinky, there is no evil twin sister. <laughs> Honestly. But Rarity, I don't recall seeing you at the trial today. Were you there? I wanted to go to the trial. Really, I did. But I couldn't make it. Why not? Pinkie Pie was late and missed it because she slept in or something. Yeah. I'm sure you have a better reason. Hey! <laughs> I was expecting a package today that I'd been really anxious to get my hooves on. What was it? A shipment of imported perfume. It was supposed to be here on my doorstep this morning, so I went to the post office to ask why it hadn't arrived, expecting to be in and out in two shakes of a lamb's tail. And it didn't go that way, I'm guessing. No. Oh. The bag was so long! It was oh. and stifling! No air circulation whatsoever! So I'm about to say, what? Man, Rarity, I know how you feel. I was at the DMV the other day and some kid was crying. I got so annoyed. Oh my god. And the pony in front of me was writing a novel or something with it. I was sitting there for half an hour waiting for her to finish so I could sign the dumb paper when they want me to Rarity, me and you are on the same page right now. Thank you, Rarity. I know how it feels, Rarity, but I gotta go back there to do driving. So, you know. I know how you feel, Rarity, even though we're talking about two different places. <laughs> Half of those things happened to me, Rarity. All I wanted to do was inquire where my package was. And all I wanted to do was get my ID. Once you're in that line, there's no going back. It's like they intentionally trap you. Exactly. 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 Don't they stop more pens? 
Honestly! <laughs> they said they didn't receive my perfume, making my trip all in vain. And then they came telling me that I needed a different form of whatchamacallit identification, so I had to go home and get another one! That's a shame. Shame? Shame? I wasted an entire hour of my life at that horrible post office! I did too, but at a DMV. I did too. Honestly, you some form of compensation for this. Rarity, me and you on the same page. You want to go have a drink or something to talk about our problems? <laughs> like, damn! <laughs> I literally just had to go through something like this. <laughs> what? I thought you weren't charging me. Oh no no no! I mean the invoice for my perfume. Why would I need that? You are a lawyer, correct? Perhaps you can use it to sue that horrible post office for the emotional, agonizing, and distress I was put through today. Man, Phoenix, can uh, you sue the DMV oh, for that horrible, agonizing pain I had to go through? To Honestly. Right. So, uh, tell me more about this perfume you ordered. Oh my gosh, it is simply to die for, Mr. Wright. Though I'm not that familiar with its scent yet. It's a rare fragrance after. Like morning dew on a blooming rose. Wait, was that the perfume that Phoenix found? Well, it's better than the slogan Maya thought up. Didn't they find the? Or no, did Twilight find it? Or did Phoenix find it? I don't remember. I'm looking at the invoice. I think it was Twilight. That's a lot of zeros for one bottle. It's very long lasting, you see. The aroma lingers for days. One bottle can easily suffice for a year's worth of use. Oh. You want to wear perfume, Feeny? You know that's for girls, right? It is. I guess I'm going with that badge you have. You mean that? Yeah, that's my Equestria attorney badge. Please tell me at least you think it looks as good as my hair in my suit. No. Compared to your suit and hair... It looks like poo. Uh, <laughs> the pink is too much, honestly. Even the citizens honestly. of this place can see this thing looks embarrassingly stupid. Exactly. And no, Pinky. I didn't want to wear the perfume. I was just wondering why it's so I darn I mean, you expensive. can wear cologne, now, that's about that. it. Your suit is as good as new. Oh, wow. You really did a good job patching it up. I can't even see where you sewed it up. Please do take better care of your suit in the future, Mr. Wright. But if you have any more problems with it, please don't hesitate to come to me. I would be more than happy to take on such a fine work of art again. Thank you. You really helped me out of a jam. This is my only suit I have while I'm here in Equestria, you see. Your only? One? Yeah. <gasps> Idea! Oh. How about I make you another one? Perhaps I can encrust the label with some rubies. Um, Red and blue go well I mean, I'd be fine with another one, but not the extra rarity. Eyes. Maybe some sunglasses would match the, dare I say, pizzazz of that hair of yours. Royal blue. Take really that up your hair. <laughs> you a suit of a nice purple or lavender. As I said, purple is my favorite color. Purple, no. Ravishing in it. I don't uh, think she seems brown. to have gone off on a tangent. I don't think... Dude yeah, should really so rock we'll purple like that. So. Oh well. I don't know where we should go next though. Fluttershy's cottage. Fluttershy's cottage? Well, why do you want to go there? I don't want to go there. The script says we go there to talk to someone. Thank you. Thank you. You can't break the fourth wall like that. Duh, the one the voice actors are following. Thank you. What on earth are you talking about? What voice actors? Like those people who do voices for characters in cartoons? <laughs> I'm looking far into it since I don't like spoilers. You know, ruins the fun of the story. What? You're completely going over my head. Phoenix. It says I should be going it, to Fluttershy's it's... cottage, and that's where I'm going to go. You should come too because it says you say, Why does she always run ahead of me like that? I better follow her, though. And follow me. See you there, Feeny. Pinkie Pie, wait! Why does she always run ahead of me like that? I better follow her, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did she do that? There's no point, Phoenix. <laughs> Just ignore it. Just roll with it. That's all you can do. It's literally it. That's all you can do about that. Hmm. I expected there to be more police here looking into that feather. Why is it you wanted to come here again? You know what? I forgot. Oh, wow. So you just brought me here for no reason? Hey, you. Who's that? Huh? What tarnation do you think you're doing? Who the hell is this? No, 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 no! Not you! Oh, it's Applejack! Side to head. 
Oh, you're not. Okay, I was about to say, who the hell is this now? So tell me, Mr. Fancy Pants Lawyer, where do you get off going around accusing sweet little heart of gold Fluttershy like that? <laughs> Accusing Fluttershy? Well, I... Forget it. I already know why you did it. But you just... You did it to buy Rainbow another day, didn't you? Well, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to go and blame Fluttershy. But if I hadn't, Rainbow Dash would be getting a really strong tan right now. I know that, but lying is still lying. It's what's called You're a talking to line. honesty you right now, Phoenix. <laughs> sure Fluttershy doesn't appreciate your white lie. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry I did that to her. It wasn't even really a lie. I just proposed the possibility, questioning Fluttershy's alibi. Alibi? Uh, stop trying to use your fancy silver tongue lawyer speak to confuse me. <laughs> In any case, I'm gonna make everything right tomorrow. You're Apple Bloom's sister, right? Huh? How'd you know that? Take a wild guess, partner. Exactly. Oh, right. The accent. <laughs> is it really that noticeable? Yeah, it hey. is. Are you making fun of the way I speak? In a way. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not. <laughs> but who is this with you? Big Mac. Big Macintosh. Her brother. Her brother. Exactly. Oh, so you're siblings. <laughs> yep. You better make everything right tomorrow. Or like I said, I'll knock you upside the head. Don't worry. Me and Pinkie Pie. Yeah, I, you medicine. don't want to get hit by Applejack. <laughs> she what? hits things for a living. That reminds me. Why weren't you at the trial today, Pinkie Pie? She slept in. Between you, me, and Rarity, I'm the only one who showed up. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you gotta have a better excuse than that. Nope. <laughs> okay, I slept in an extra, extra bunch. <laughs> we spoke with Rarity, and she kind of uh, uh, got held up in traffic. That just goes to show you that Applejack is the most dependable pony there is. Always oh. there, rain or shine. I mean, got a trophy to prove it, right, Big Mac? Yep. A trophy for being dependable? <laughs> I wish I had a trophy. I never even got one when I was in Little League. So I know you're Apple Bloom's elder sister, but I don't know anything about you besides that. Name's Applejack. Proud owner of Sweet Apple Acres. Sweet Apple Acres? Oh yeah. You're not from this neck of the woods, are you? No. It's an apple farm run by the Apple family, ten minutes due south from here. With a name like Applejack, I guess you were set up at birth to be put in that business. You really I'm were. I'm not here to talk about that, though. Have you two seen that sister of mine? No. no. The last time I saw She's her was with when Twilight. she was on the stand today. I've been with Feeny all day. Oh, except when I was asleep. Then it was with General Cake and Major Muffin. Major Muffin. Exactly. I had a dream. I was commanding a battalion of sweets fighting off an army of salad, asparagus, and broccoli. It was like nutrition versus sweets. I didn't know which side to enlist on at first, but I ended up going to the tasty side. It was a grueling war. Many gumdrops and chocolate chips lost their lives, but we triumphed in the end. Oh. Okay. Point would have a field day with Pinkie Pie. <laughs> so why are you looking for Apple Bloom? She's supposed to be serving her grounded. You know, after going in at four or so late. But now yeah. the troublemaker ran off as soon as she was excused from the trial. <laughs> she was supposed to wait for me. By Did the you way, really think she would do I that? I have to thank you, Phoenix Wright. Thank me? Weren't you just threatening to knock me upside the head just a minute exactly. ago? Exactly. Yeah, I still want to do that. <laughs> well, thank you for getting my little sister to tell the truth on that there stand. Yep. You sure have an extensive vocabulary there, Big Macintosh. <laughs> I don't know if Twilight told you, but I represent the element of honesty, and I would yep. like to see my kin follow suit, if you know what I mean. Element of honesty? Yep. Mine's laughter. It's like the best one ever. What's the matter? You want an element too, Feeny? We can think of one for you. Oh, wow. Huh? Uh, sugar cube? I don't think it works like that. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> what element could you be? I don't oh, even oh, know. Oh, I got it! Phoenix Wright, with his nifty do represents the spirit of... Hair gel! Oh, God. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> told me in Big Mac that he saw Apple Bloom with Twilight. Old Beardy? Oh, you must the judge. The judge. Yeah. What's he doing wandering around this place? He, you oh, see how fascinated he was with this place? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> the last time I saw Twilight, she was as peeved as you were at me about that little incident in the courtroom. Oh, she'll get over it. That is, if you honestly intend on setting things right. Yeah. Right? Of course I'll set things right. <laughs> My name is Phoenix, right? Apple. Phoenix, this is the third day time! Stop it! <laughs> Thank you, Applejack! How many people need to tell you this? 
How many Am people need to tell you this? That joke is funny. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Applejack. <laughs> oh my god, this is the third damn time you've done it, Phoenix, and three people have told you that it wasn't funny. I'll make everyone see that truth. Dear God, Phoenix. You may be as bad as I made you have to be. I'd like to confirm something, Applejack. Shoot, partner. About Apple Bloom. Did she really arrive at home when she said she did? Yep, ten after nine. That's when she got home. She got a scolding from Big Mac and I for going into the forest so late. A scolding from him? What did he do? Yupper. <laughs> it's just that this second lightning bolt has been plaguing my mind. How is it both your sister and Fluttershy didn't hear or see it? I was thinking that Ace Pegasus fella intercepted it before it touched the ground. But that makes one of your contrafiction doohickeys. Contra contradiction? You mean contradiction? Yeah. Yeah, one of those. I couldn't hit him because of that suit. I was thinking the same thing. But according to Rainbow Dash, that suit makes you completely invulnerable to lightning while in the air. Not to mention it would have made a sound, and left a mark, if it hit him on the ground where he was vulnerable. Ugh. All this thinking makes my head hurt. <laughs> I couldn't hold a match for the prosecution today, but things are going to be different now that I've had time to get a better grasp of the situation. Speaking of that, you gotta show that stuck-up attention horse a thing or two for me. Attention horse? Yeah, you Trixie. Know, that no good blue snake in the grass. Hmm. Oh, you must mean Trixie. Yep. Yeah, her. She's a great A example of what Lion will lead to. Her fibbing and ponytails caused that big old Ursa to come a stomping through Ponyville. Twilight told me a bit about that. I can't stand her. I was biting my tongue every time she opened that big mouth of hers in the trial today. I've noticed Trixie has that effect on a lot of ponies in these parts. She's just doing this whole thing because she's all salty with Rarity, Twilight, Rainbow, and I. Wait a minute. I knew she had a grudge against Twilight. But why you and the other two? Last time Trixie was in Ponyville, she was showing off and bragging like she was the bee's knees. So the others and I called Trixie out on her hooey. Turns out we were right. She was great and powerful after all. That's why I ended up proving it. Yep. In fact, I told Apple Bloom to call Trixie out if she gave her a hard time in the trial today. <laughs> oh. So you're responsible for that. Yep. Guilty as charged. <laughs> that was pretty entertaining, watching Trixie get verbally served by a child. Exactly. Certainly brightened up my day. I know, right? But isn't Trixie a performer? Isn't she supposed to show off and blow things out of proportion? I don't think the decent and sort of powerful Trixie would really attract a crowd. Not defending her or anything, as there were times I wanted to smack her upside the head. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Remember how she was calling you Mr. Not Right today? It was like that, only on the stage. Actually, she was calling me Mr. Wrong. You know, because it's the opposite of right and... Same difference. <laughs> yes, pretty down. much. I want you to do your best, Phoenix Wright. Show her what Ponyville is made of. Prove Rainbow is innocent and rubbing in that smug snot to show off face of hers. Deal. Let's shake on it. Okay. <laughs> yep, that knew she was well, gonna spit. Go I'm not touching that hoof. I'm not touching that hoof. Because there's spit all over it. <laughs> You're just as prissy as Rarity. Don't want to get your fancy pants lawyer hands dirty, eh? <sighs> I think we can conclude this agreement with a nod. I mean, uh... I'm not I even sure I do it. That's disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to go check Twilight's place. If you do see Apple Bloom, could you tell her to go on home? I don't want her running out and about with murders happening and all. She's with Twi, though, so I suppose I shouldn't be worried. Yeah, yeah we'll in be a sure way. To if we see her. Thank you. Oh, I'm not going to give you a knock upside the head, but I'm not so busy. <laughs> what a pleasant way to say goodbye to someone. Honestly. Goodbye, Applejack. Goodbye, mm, Big, Big Macintosh. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> That's that it. The reason you wanted me to come here, Pinky, to speak with Applejack. No, it wasn't that. There should be another reason. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Huh? <laughs> What's coming? What? And? That means something strange is going to happen. Pinkie Pie, we've been through this already. You can't predict things based off of... What? How is your phone what? ringing? Ooh, what's that? I've never seen one of those things before. How is your phone ringing? That's impossible. How could someone be calling? Exactly! Well, what do you do with that thing anyway? You answer I it. Yes, I... Just answer. But how? I hope transdimensional calls don't hurt my phone bill. It probably <laughs> will. Phoenix, right? Yes, that's me. Who is this? 
A concerned friend. A oh. concerned friend? A friend? Tell them I said hello! Tell me, how and why are you phoning me? I want to help you. How? I want to help you win the trial tomorrow. It's cruise control, it sounds like him. That can clear your client indefinitely. What? Are you serious? Yes, I want you to meet me at the clearing. Where the crime took place. Alright, I'll be right there. Pinky, we have to- Alone. Huh? We must meet alone. There's no other way I can see you. Why? I might get lost if I go in there alone. Do you want my help or not? Okay, okay, I'll go in alone. <laughs> Good. I'll be waiting for you. You made the right choice, Phoenix Wright. Tell me, though, who is this? I'll be waiting for you. Damn. <laughs> How do you have a phone? A bit that is... Someone wants to meet me I'm pretty sure they don't have phones in the question, so how does he have a phone? How is he calling me anyway? Honestly! What reception do you have here? Pinky, I'm sorry, but I have to go solo here. Huh? I just got a lead that could win me the trial tomorrow. But whoever I was speaking to wants to meet me alone. That sounds kind of suspicious. Exactly. Oh, wait, I know who that was! Who? Really? Yes! It was Wabnyar! <laughs> <laughs> there is no Wabniar. Honestly! Besides, this person was male, and they said they wanted to help me. Oh, they did? Yeah. <laughs> then that changes everything. All right, I'll wait for you by the entrance. I'll be right back out. The pathway more or less leads to that clearing, and the sun's still out. I shouldn't have trouble navigating myself through. Be careful in there, Feeny. It's pretty dangerous. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Promise. Hello? I'm here. Where is this mysterious friend of mine? Honestly. He said he'd be waiting for me. It's me, Phoenix Wright. You said you wanted to help me. What's going down? Is this someone's idea of a prank? Maybe. Hey, I know. I'll just hit the redial button on my phone. Yeah. What? 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 No connection point. Then how is he Maybe the force is interrupt. No, that's not possible then. All these trees are just interfering with the signal. This is some paranormal stuff. Then I'm leaving. This is getting creepy. What is this? We get a cutscene. <laughs> What is going down? Ugh. Well, he just got attacked. Oh, my head. Did anyone get the license plate number of that truck? <laughs> Where am I? I'm still in the forest, but I'm not in the clearing anymore. Damn it! It was a trap! Now I'm lost. I need to get out of here. This must be how Apple Bloom felt the other day. Even though the sun's still out, I can hardly see. Is it? It sounds like it's nighttime. Wait. What? Where is it? All my evidence is gone! You got Jack, oh. son, by so cruise control. I was knocked out. Uh, hello? Oh crap, it's Timberwolves. You better uh, run, son. Uh, uh, nice puppies. Darn puppies. I'm frozen in place. I I'm too scared to move. They're, they're going to attack me. <laughs> no! The hell? Huh? What just happened? You should be ashamed of yourself. What a sh- how is she out of jail? Fluttershy? Honestly! I don't believe this. This can't be the same cowardly little pony. Nah, when it comes to animals, this is how she is. Mr. <laughs> 
Phoenix. How did you get out of jail? Are known to rip their prey apart within a few or holding. Seconds. Fluttershy, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Even if you had been killed, you would have come back to life in your ashes more magnificent than ever. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Fluttershy, listen. The reason I accused you earlier. I know you didn't do any of that garbage I was spouting. I just needed to buy another day to clear Rainbow Dash's name. Though I had good intentions, I did it at your expense without your say in the matter. I'm sorry I did that. It's alright, Mr. Phoenix. I forgive you. You forgive me? Just like that? Yes. I believe in you. That's why I came in here to look for you. To make sure you were safe. You're too kind. But, Fluttershy, what are you doing in here? I thought you were arrested. Speak honestly. The police let me go. Oh. They let you go. But I thought you were a suspect. I don't know why. They just said I didn't have to stay anymore and let me out. And that can only mean one thing. The feather didn't match any of her animals. When I got home, I saw Pinkie Pie standing by the entrance to the forest, and I asked her what she was doing. She said you went in here all alone. Yeah. So I got worried and I came in here to find you. Did you by any chance see anyone else in here while you were looking for me? No, I didn't. Uh, um, sh should I have seen someone? You know, like how I should have seen Apple on that day? Oh god, <laughs> now she's worried about that. Do something wrong again. It's funny how she just took on two savage wolves and then she goes back into submissive wimp mode. Well, I mean... No, it's okay. <laughs> it's just someone knocked me out and put me in the middle of this forest. Oh my, that's not very nice. On top of that, they stole all my evidence I was going to use to defend Rainbow Dash in the trial tomorrow. Um, but Twilight said she was going to defend Rainbow Dash tomorrow. <laughs> huh? What? She talked with me at the detention center earlier and told me to forget about you. Oh, no. I hope she's not doing what I think she is. Yeah. She's gonna fire me for what I did to you. She Cuts changes you her mind. It's all good. Defend Rainbow Dash. She really will. Are you talking about that blue unicorn in the wizard outfit? Yeah. Yeah. I was barely holding my own against her. And I have experience. Twilight won't stand a chance. I have to get her to reconsider. Don't you remember Trixie's phone shy? Tell her what you told me. She'll change her mind. I don't know. She was pretty bummed out. Then I'll help you explain it to her. Thanks, Fluttershy. Hey, wait a second. I just thought of something. What is it, Mr. Phoenix? You said Pinkie Pie is standing by the entrance, right? Um, yeah. Well, whoever knocked me out would have to leave through the entrance, since that's the only way out. Yep. Oh, I see now. Since Pinkie Pie is waiting by the entrance... Pinkie Pie will probably see whoever attacked me exit the forest. I'll show yep. you the way out. You were right about that this morning. Huh? Even if I may not like visiting it much, this forest really is like a backyard to me. Alright, lead the way. Everfree Forest. June 10th, 345 p.m. Do I hear... Galloping? It's yeah. It's not me. It's getting closer. It's it Twilight and... This way. What if it's who attacked me? Apple Bloom, I think. I really hope I don't oh, no. a pony. I think it's Twilight. Or... Fluttershy? Phoenix? Uh, yeah. hey, yeah. Look, I know you really must not like me after what I did today, but I can explain. Mr. Phoenix is only trying to help Twilight. He never meant to hurt anyone. Let's go back to the library. I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this forest. Exactly. Yeah, I agree. A lot of craziness went down today. <laughs> so that's why I did that. I know it wasn't fair to Fluttershy, but if I had just sat there and done nothing, Rainbow Dash would have been found guilty right there on the spot. I see. Do you still want to fire me? How did you... Fluttershy told me. Yeah. Look, I don't mind if you do, but I have to warn you, Trixie's one tough customer. I underestimated her. Despite all my experience, she managed to trump everything I threw at her. In fact, 
she could have easily overruled my feather theory, since it was all just theory. Exactly. What? I have a feeling the only reason she let me do that was to see another one of your friends in jail. She's gonna go all out tomorrow, so if you'd like to take over, I have to warn you about that. I don't know what I should do. If you really want to defend Rainbow Dash, at least allow me to do one more thing for you. You still want to help? Even though I was going to fire you? Yeah. I'll do all I can to help someone who's being accused of a crime they didn't commit. I know for a fact Rainbow Dash didn't do anything wrong. And I know a certain pony who knows more than she's letting on. Actually, I do too. Phoenix, tell me, that thing you mixed in the evidence earlier, that wasn't a good luck charm, was it? Why do you ask? Let's just say I've been seeing a lot of locks today. <laughs> locks and... and chains. <laughs> chains. See, I knew you knew! What was that thing and what did it do to me? Uh, okay, I'll be honest. Because if I don't, I bet you'll see them around me. I'm listening. You see, it's called a Magatama. A tool I use to see if people are hiding deep secrets from me. But don't get me wrong. I only use it when I'm investigating crimes. Deep secrets? If someone's keeping a deep secret, psychic barriers called psych locks will appear. The more locks, the deeper the secret. Yep. If you break those locks using proof and evidence, chances are the person, or in this case, the pony, will spill the beans. Interesting. Interesting? I thought she'd be mad. No. What about black ones? Black ones? What do you mean? There were... Never mind. So... Do you know how that thing's power got transferred into me? No, Not magics. Clue. That's probably how. It probably had something to do with the way it reacted when you picked it up. Probably. Mm. Well, I'm sure I can fix it, but I need it right now. But, since I told the truth, I expect the same from you. What? You're not a very good liar, Twilight. I could clearly see that you bringing me here was no accident. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Yeah. I'm that bad at lying, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're about as thin as Kleenex. I mean, <laughs> identification spell? I know you have magic here and all, but that sounds like something a third grader came up with. I know that isn't a real spell. I was told not to say anything, but I suppose I owe you an explanation. Princess Celestia herself told me to summon you and play dumb. So you knowing my name and having that badge prepared? Yeah, she did all that. I didn't know you were going to be from another world, though. That's a bummer. So I'm not the greatest defense attorney in the universe? <laughs> I was starting to like that title. I was starting to like that title. <laughs> I'm a bit sketchy on that detail as well. I too found it really odd how she knew so much about you and how she was boasting about how good you were, yet you acted as if you had never met a pony in your life before me. How does this princess character know me? I think Probably I through those other people. About this. Well, I certainly don't like the fact I was being deceived by you. But I thank you for telling me the truth. I apologize. I was just doing what the princess told me to. She seems genuinely sorry about it. I shouldn't hold it against her. Perhaps I should just change the subject. Hmm. So this evidence you found seems you had a good turnout. Oh. Ah! What's the matter? The other half of the letter! The other half of the letter? Wait, you have it? Yeah, sure, I found sure. it with Pinkie Pie today. This is my letter stating my permanent leave of absence. After the Equestria 500 is over, I can no longer work with you. We made quite the team, but I can't live with the guilt any longer. I can't keep helping you ruin others' lives. It saddens me beyond belief that we must part ways, but I must say farewell. Goodbye, Ace. May our paths cross in the future. Someone was quitting their job? Yeah, and I think I know who. Yeah. Ooh. So I'll tell you once I confirm my suspicion. You said you had someone you wanted to talk to, right? Perhaps we should go our separate ways again. You're right. Come back here once you're done, though. You were attacked, after all. You have my word. Shit's getting real, guys! <laughs> hey, and stay hotel. Now we get to go talk to Sonata at the 10th, 5.05 p.m. Hello? Hello, Sonata. What do you want? I just wanted to talk, that's all. I already spoke to you. Can you please leave? No. You should be grateful I didn't tell the police about you and your friend's intrusion today. 
Funny you should say that, because I was wondering why you didn't. If you had me arrested, there would be no defense attorney tomorrow, meaning Rainbow Dash would be most likely found guilty. In other words, exactly what you want. <laughs> I'm not here about that, though. I just wanted to talk to you about a question you were avoiding earlier. What was it like being Ace's manager? Take that! Here there's locks again. <sighs> a question like that is none of your business. I think it's all of our business. Now, let's see what you're hiding, Sonata. By the sound of it, it seems it wasn't good at all. I can't believe this! Shouldn't you be investigating the crime? Why are you bothering me with your annoying questions? Because I think you have something to do with all of this. Really? Me? Tell me, Mr. Wright. Why do you think I'm involved with this crime? I'll show you why, Sonata. Take that! The evidence! Should this look familiar to you? Exactly. Where did you get that? Seems someone who was working with Ace was planning on quitting after the race. And I think that someone is you, Sonata. You're the only one working with Ace in Ponyville at the moment. Yeah. That's one. You think I wrote this? I've never seen this letter before. For all you know, it could have been mailed here by Ace's butler. No, I don't think you wrote this. I know you wrote this. Care to explain how? You see, it's very simple, actually. We can just compare the writing to something I know for a fact you did write. And I have it right here. Take that! This unicorn spellbook I found in this very room. Ooh, Are you saying play, I wrote this book? Of course not. But this book has some interesting characteristics. I can't read a single word of it. Then why are you showing it to me? It probably belongs to the hotel. No. No, it doesn't belong to the hotel. It has your writing on a page. I know a unicorn who reads a book just like this. And says it's only available in Canterlot, the place you say you're from. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. It's my book. What exactly are you trying to prove here? You written the like book. Like I said, you done I screwed can't up, read son. Any of the characters written inside these pages, except these ones. Ah. Continue from here. I can read that note scribbled on the page. You couldn't find a bookmark, could you, Sonata? <sighs> I'm sure if we compare the writing in here to that letter, we'll get a perfect match. Ugh. Fine. I wrote the letter. Ha ha. But you still fail to prove any relevance to this. Hmm? So what? I was going to quit. Why do you think I have something to do with this? I can't help ruin others' lives. I wonder what that could mean. I won't play dumb, because I know exactly what this little statement means. Take that! Is this some kind of <laughs> joke? Why are you showing me these pictures? I found out earlier today. From my client, Ace was doing something very wrong to her. Exactly. And I think you know all too well what it was. You were in on this blackmailing business, weren't you? Yeah. It fits perfectly with the context of your resignation letter. <sighs> That's one more. You we got have this, a wild Phoenix. Imagination, Mr. Wright. Blackmail? Really? Even if your client was being blackmailed, what makes you think Ace and I were behind it? I Use know some invisibility true, spells or Is something that like that so? to watch I don't Rainbow. See anything mentioning blackmail on this letter of mine. And those pictures of my client? Maybe Ace just needed a good laugh at his competition to get in the right mindset. I don't think so. Ruin others' lives kind of fits the description of blackmail. Exactly. It could mean anything. You have no proof Ace and I were blackmailing any pony. Actually, I do. How? We just have to use this. Take that! That? This is the letter Rainbow Dash was blackmailed with. Demands right from the horse's mouth. Exactly. Like I said, there is no way you can prove Ace or I wrote this. It doesn't even have a name on it. I don't need a name. There's an easier way to find out who wrote this. W what? Just like earlier, let's compare the writing style on this blackmail letter to your letter of resignation. Exactly. They seem to match up perfectly, Sonata. Would you have any idea why? Yeah. There's also that list I found on your table. With 835, Eight yeah. the Rainbow Dash's name. Get wrecked, Sonata! <laughs> you just got cut! <laughs> and who else was in the forest well on 835? Done, 
I guess there was no way to deny it anymore. Hooray, we did it. Uh, Problem? Shouldn't you be worried? Worried? <laughs> Whatever should I be worried about? I found you out. You were blackmailing my client. That's a crime, Miss Cold Hard Swift Justice. Exactly. Do you remember what I said earlier? What? My talent. My eye for detail. It's what I've been using the whole time Ace and I have been doing this. For example, the days I studied Miss Rainbow Dash, I could see that she had quite an ego and reputation. Anyone could That's see that. That's why I took those photographs of her. We had quite the lucrative business set up, Ace and I. We have several gamblers placing large sums of money on him after we have our way with a potentially tough competition, then split the money 50-50 on top of what he's awarded for winning. That's why your client was targeted. Her performance at the Cloudsdale Young Flyers competition. Why are you telling me all this? To prove that I'm not worried at all. You see, I can get anyone to keep their mouth shut once I find out what makes them tick. You're no exception. But what do you what? have on him? Mr. Wright, I'm not worried in the slightest, because you're not going to tell a soul about this. And why is that? You're wrong. I'm going to tell the police about this right away. Yeah. With my conversations with you, I can tell you hold your loyalty and your client in high regard. So what? You can't take that away from me. Or can I? Can she? If I so much as even catch wind of you uttering the word blackmail to any pony, I'll report what you and your little accomplice did earlier. But what proof do you have of that? I broke into our hotel room. You'll find it a little hard defending your client from a prison cell. I mean, I guess. <sighs> you had no jurisdiction searching my hotel room, and you and that pink pony left prints all over the place. I have more than enough evidence to take you down with me. It would be troublesome if information regarding my dealings got out, and you want to defend your client, correct? Oh, you are a bitch. She's right, <laughs> stalemate. Why didn't you just report me earlier? Simple. I held the cards till I knew I could use them to my advantage, which I am right now. So, do we have a deal, Mr. Wright? Gotta be a I'll bitch. take your silence as a yes. Don't worry. I'll be at the trial tomorrow to make sure you keep our little secret to yourself. Man, after you, whatchamacallit, save Rainbow, Goodbye, you can just Mr. rat her out. It doesn't matter after that. Because you can just get sent back to your world. <laughs> oh, no, no, because then Pinky would Looks be like thrown in jail too. So. Damn. Ugh, what, what do I do? do? Though, Though this seems important, important, how does it fit in with anything? God only knows. Library. June 10th, 5.40 p.m. Seems Twilight isn't back yet. Better not tell her about Sonata, unless it's necessary. Not only for my sake, but for hers as well. Hey, Alicious. an owl! Or whatever you, his name you're is. You're an owl. You mean, who am I? Phoenix Wright, with a PH and a W. It's an actual owl, you know, Phoenix. Can you make Big Macintosh look like a blabbermouth? <sighs> oh, you're back! Spike. You're like Spike, right? I remember meeting you earlier. When I heard he was a dragon, I thought he'd be much bigger. But he's just a little guy. Yeah, yeah I remember. she told you that. You were being a big drama queen this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Getting one hour of sleep will do that to you. So what's this owl doing here? That's Owlicious. Yeah, I did get it right. He helps Twilight with her late night study sessions since he's nocturnal. Aloysius, huh? Ooh. You, you're Aloysius. Ooh. Don't, so Phoenix. So keep at it, hoping he'll say what, why, where, or how. So you're Twilight Scribe. Yep, number one assistant Spike. Ooh. Oh, so are you, actually, would you mind being the number 1.5 assistant? I mean, that's <laughs> still number one, sorta. It's just number one assistant sounds a little better on me. Ooh. Me. Ooh. Yes, they're gonna keep doing the, oh <laughs> these <name>. two. <laughs> You're not gonna win. Exactly. Twilight wasn't lying when she said she likes reading. 
She lives in this library. It's like a bookworm's dream come true. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight's a total nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Twilight? that part. <laughs> I, um, uh, I remember that I part. <laughs> he said it like right when she came in. <laughs> organized those awesome books my intelligent and smart friend reads. <laughs> uh, later. Did you find Got out caught, what you son? To show? <laughs> yes, I'll fill you in about it tomorrow. I have a good idea who's behind all this. Okay. Wait. So you're not firing me? I thought about it, and I realize now that you mean well. And if what you say is true, you stand a better chance against Trixie than I do. Exactly. Please, just tell me when you're going to do something like you did today. I don't think yeah, he can do anything like that again. I shouldn't need to do anything like that again. From here on out, I'll try to find out what really happened in that forest that night. Fluttershy forgave you, so I guess I can too. The princess also said I can trust you. I'll try. No. I won't let you down this time. Thank you. That spare bed is in the same place. Try to get lots of sleep this time. I'm pretty tired after all that's happened today. Investigating sure takes a lot out of you. Tell me, like, honestly. I think I'm going so to So much randomness happened right. today. I'm probably going to crash soon as well. Good night. This whole situation with Sonata is bugging me. Not only her blackmailing, but her appearance. Is it only a coincidence she looks like her? Or is that somehow really Mia? I don't know. Twilight says she may know who's behind the murder. Perhaps I should just wait until tomorrow instead of stressing my brain about this. <laughs> wait a minute. Hey, Aloysius, do you think you could do me a favor? Ooh. Just... Uh, I'm about to say, don't argue, Felix. Just say what your favor is. Oh, you gotta be so butt to be continued. Screw you! <laughs> oh my god. This one was random and extra. And it was actually really, really crazy. Um. There's a lot of random references. The main crazy reference was the one to Cupcakes. <laughs> that reference was just OD. But. It's still awesome. <laughs> oh man. Additional voices. The Canadian Deuce. Move 28. Gabu X. Jessica Nowacking. Who's Gabu? Did we see someone named. G I don't even remember. <laughs> Maybe. Everything in the series is coming together. So my guess is next time will be like the final confrontation or something like that. Or something related to that. Cause I mean... Huh. I mean, whatchamacallit, um... What do you s um... Yeah, it's a confrontation, isn't it? But I mean, I guess the final court session will be tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, tomorrow, but I mean, like, the next one. Um, but for the... I don't know, because I'm pretty sure there's two parts after this, so it's either the court session's gonna be long, or there's just something more that happens after the court session. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I guess we're gonna find out next time. This series is really interesting, that's why I like it so much. But unfortunately, it just has to be so long. <laughs> If it was cut into smaller episodes, I'd be able to do this more often, but... It's so... Whatchamacallit? It's so, um... Lengthy that it's hard to get these out every now and then. And then even when I can record, I can't, like, edit and upload the same day, so, you know. But anyways, I still love this series. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of subtle, random references, a lot of fun jokes. Phoenix's garbage joke that he told three times and completely failed on all three times. I mean, once Pinkie Pie tells you it's not funny, you have to quit. <laughs> it's, it's like the element of laughter right there. And if, it, if she tells you something's not funny, then you gotta admit, it's not funny. <laughs> I don't know. It is some craziness, guys. It is some serious craziness right here. 
My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and Phoenix Wright are copyrighted of Hasbro and Capcom, respectively. This is a non-profit project that takes no ownership of the respective companies, characters, and music in this movie. Hurrah! But what's gonna happen next time? There's usually a little Sutton at the end. Let's see. Rainbow Trash? <laughs> Good one. I prefer Rainbow Dash, though. That was no whacking. I'm <laughs> pretty positive about that. <laughs> but anyways, time for the review. So, ponies and bronies, that has been Turnabout Storm. This has been Phoenix's part, and it was amazing. <laughs> it was random, and it had a lot of random things in it. So, let's go over what happened throughout today's episode of Turnabout Storm. So, we start off, you know, with, I guess, Phoenix's intro from what he experienced in the beginning, like we did Twilight and the whole Princess Celestia thing. And, you know, it was started off with him being random, which is, you know the usual I guess for him <laughs> I don't know he was about to go into a case to defend his friend I believe and his friend was accused of murder so you know that's kind of similar to our situation now in um, the actual series and then you know it just took place after the whole trial Phoenix met Pinky and then uh, he decided to go talk to Rainbow and Rainbow was being a little bit of a douche to Fluttershy I mean, yeah, she, she, she kinda in a way ratted you out, but Rainbow, you, you know Fluttershy, you know, even if she wanted to protect you, with those people being all straightforward and stuff, she's gonna crack under the pressure, so you couldn't expect her not to say anything, I mean, you just can't do that. And so, yeah, we found out what Rainbow Dash is actually doing, and Rainbow Dash says that apparently the bolt didn't hit um, Ace, and it scared him, so that happened so apparently there's something else that caused ace to get hit because he was underneath the cloud but then again someone said that um the whatchamacallit doesn't strike in the same place so someone had to have moved the cloud over him to make it appear that way i don't know something like that it had to do that. I don't know. We're probably going to find out about that next time, but it seems that there's some foul play with that cloud. And then we met a new character named Sonata, which appears to be someone that Phoenix knows named Mia. Um, I don't know who Mia is exactly. I did some looking up of the game, Phoenix, right? And I think Mina is... Mia, not Mina. Mia is like, um, I think... I think it was like, yeah, I think it was like his boss or something, or like, someone, I, I think, or something like that, uh, like I said, we're gonna have to do a Phoenix Wright gameplay sometime, either after My Little Investigations or after Infamous, after one of the two games is over, we're gonna play Phoenix Wright, because I actually wanna see that, and some people actually said they wanna see me play it, so I'll just do it all together like that. So, whenever one of them is done, we'll start on the Phoenix Wright gameplay, but other than that, so yeah, we met Sonata, and she was hiding that she worked for Ace, which I mean, could have guessed, since they were staying in the same room, so of course she was helping him ruin people's lives. Um, if she was like his, whatchamacallit, manager or something, because she'd have to know what was going on this whole time, if she like was working with him because he won every time he wouldn't really nobody needs a manager i mean i guess if you're doing something like this because you just race and that's it i mean maybe i don't know i'm not so f in tune with the workings of how equestria goes but yeah she was his manager and she was helping him with the blackmailing and stuff and now she's gonna blackmail phoenix because him and pinky broke into their room technically so yeah um she has that against him while he has the evidence that she was blackmailing people which is pretty poop but i mean i guess she is smart to hold that because yeah she can't use that against him so she doesn't get in trouble i mean i guess you could put it that way so i guess she is smart in a way about that even though it's kind of a bitch move to do because i mean you know what you were doing so 
might as well just take what you get for it. But anyways, um, we saw Cruise Control again, technically. He's the one who kidnapped, or not kidnapped, but knocked out Ace. So, wait, not, no, no, knocked out Phoenix, whoa. So, <laughs> he can take all his evidence. Um, I don't remember exactly why he's... That, like, I don't remember why he said he did it. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go look back on the previous episode to see why he said he did it. I think he said why he did it, but I don't remember exactly why. But anyways, um, yeah, it's pretty much all that happened. And we got a couple reminders of some things, like Derpy's name. <laughs> Dear God, last time that was the weirdest thing ever. And then we got a scene that was kind of a reminder of cupcakes. Isn't that nice? The whole hacksaw and saw, buzzsaw, or whatever it was. That line was from Cupcakes when she was talking to Rainbow Dash because she had the hacksaw and she was like, I don't understand the difference between... Cuz, I didn't notice it until like it just paused when Phoenix was like, wait, what? <laughs> he was like that, then I was like, wait, what? And then it started playing the music and I was like, oh crap! <laughs> Cuz I just realized what they were referencing when it started playing that psycho music. I was like, okay, there's no need for that. But yeah, it was, it was funny to see, like, that random reference in here. But yeah, um, this was quite a random episode, and it's still good as it always is. I like this series. The series is really interesting, and it makes you think, like, you know, what if you makes you put things in place like what if this is gonna go there and like what if, what if this is gonna happen it makes you think that's why i like this series because this series is pretty awesome um this has probably been one of my favorite series like one of my top favorites on the channel other than um whatchamacallit um right at discord because this series is like really really entertaining um i really enjoy like the thought process that goes into this, like how they mix both worlds together like this. I mean, there's a lot of series we do on the channel, I love them all to death, but like, I have to say that this is like a really interesting one, and it's just like really, I like when you cross two worlds and stuff like that, if you make a story behind it. I mean like, the whole Sonic vs. MLP thing, that's cool, but it's not really more story driven, it's just kind of, you know, what if this were to happen, then it can lead to this, this, and this, but this is like a whole story-based thing. That's why I really love this series. But, yeah, um, you guys can expect more of this in the future. Um, hopefully it won't take another long while for me to get the next episode out. It depends on time-wise, like I said before. But, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you all for sticking with me for this long hour. And if you have made it to the end, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button, save it to your videos, also share it with your friends. This has been Espresso. You can follow me on Twitter, also on DebutNart. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my gaming channel. All these links will be in the description below. Uh, no, I'm not sure about the game channel as much as I was before. Um, with time restraints and stuff I'm trying out, I'm not sure how much more the game channel will be up for. Um, I'm probably gonna focus full time on this now and just move the single gaming to like here or something. I don't know how this is working out yet, guys. This is still a lot of stuff processing in my mind. Um, cause if I do like the gaming here, then I can at least only focus on one thing at a time. And since I only do it on one day out of a long time here, then, you know, I'm golden because I'm able to, um, whatchamacallit, I'm able to upload more frequently because I'm doing it all on this channel instead of recording and editing and then recording and editing for another thing and then you know putting it out on two separate channels because that's like a lot of time but just doing it for one channel I can constantly do it because it's easier to like throw videos out that way because if not then it's gonna end up like Turnabout Storm where I take a month to upload so do the next part of something especially if it's long like this so, I'll figure this out in the near future, but other than that, thank you all for watching, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone! You know, you can say any button. Yes, yes, you can. Instead of any pony. You know? Thank you, Spike. Frankly, I don't see what the point is. Yeah, I don't either. I would have known what you had meant if you had said any button. Yeah. You can't see me like that, the kind of thing everybody's doing just because everybody else is doing it. That's why we don't do it. There!
<laughs> and then you just take.